How's it going? This is Odd. Hey, it's Red here. And Mal. And you're about to listen to our podcast. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Probably not the greatest for having your kids around. Nope. We are a 18 plus podcast. And we would appreciate if you would take that into consideration, as we honestly are have horrible mouths, and terrible obviously influences will ruin your life. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, by what our name is, we are the Ganja people. And I was smoking during this intro. <laughs> Hey, I'm Ud. I'm Red. And I'm Mal. And we are the, the Ganja People. Slay the masses and bury the bodies. Is that so? That, yes. What a great Same. intro, right? 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 <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah. Oh, man. What? Hey! What a start, huh, Red? Digging the, di- uh, what is it? Digging the trenches and burying the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was dig through the ten- trenches and burying through the witches. Slam it the back of the <laughs> <laughs> if you can't um, tell, we got an extra voice on tonight, guys. Hey, it's the machine. It's the machinist. Are you dr- <laughs> trying to break shit? I'm dramatic today. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Bang, bang. <laughs> bang. Just today? Finger guns. Pew! Jazz hands! Spare fingers. <laughs> I'll just stick with the sprinkler. I can do that one. Oh, God, the fucking sprinkler! <laughs> Oh man! I'll do the hip thrust. What movie is Just that from? Picking up change. What? The picking up change. I think it change. was a football movie, but I can't remember. I can't remember. Some fucking idiot just be bopping around doing their shit. Who the fuck was it? I'm sure someone it's in the some audience movie. will tell you in the <laughs> comments. Oh. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I can't remember. We get so movie. many comments. So many. All Between those. all of the things we're on, you know, Spotify, <laughs> iHeartRadio. Wait, serious question. What? Have we ever gotten a comment? We Not have the, one, We got one on YouTube. And they and, were trying to sell us royalty-free music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Make sure yeah. you like, subscribe, and hit that comment button, people. I know, yeah, right? Especially that comment button, because we'll definitely get back to you in a reasonable amount of time. From what I can tell, these people are lonely and desperate. Please talk to them. (laughs) We just want people to talk to us. We have each other. What I am surrounded by. I need some support. Please come help me. I guess it's time for some Smash Mouth. Why can't we be friends? (laughs) (laughs) It was way before Smash Mouth, bud. But I mean, they did a good cover. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. I can already see what I'm getting into. Oh, oh this yeah. is every week. Yeah, every we ain't even week. started like smoking yet either. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're like, gonna we get for you. We're gonna make you some virgin edibles. That's what we'll do. <laughs> That's called food. <laughs> I make that enough. I'm a damn good baker. Mm. See, That's this is why you funny. can't steal shit from my meme page because he'll know. I he'll know, know, but I was counting on him knowing exactly what I was talking about instead of looking at me like I was fucking recording. <laughs> you gotta run the joke, man. Get the views. Get the listens. <laughs> it's a good oh, time. I told you. I am gonna steal your shit from your meme page whenever I want to. You wanna know why? Because it's Facebook and I can. I feel it's violated. Funny. <laughs> I share Knee way slapper. too much <laughs> on Facebook. I share way too much on Facebook and then... I um, feel violated when somebody starts using one of my memes. And at least I give you credit for it. You're like, hey, that's mine. I'm like, it sure is. I just leave the haha face. I do too. I react first. I know. Everyone's like, you better leave me something. I'm like, I'll leave you a haha, bitch. Like, <laughs> works for me. I mean, the only on a couple thing of them, I loved them so much I had to leave a heart. A haha face. <laughs> Let me make that clear. I had to leave a heart. <laughs> they were just mwah, so beautiful. I do that every once in a while. I just do. to throw wish, people off. I really wish that they had the one with like the straight eyes and the straight mouth because I would send that one to uh, I would send that one to oh, Red quite frequently. Oh my god. Like half the shit that Red <laughs> posts, Mal goes, yeah, God dude. damn it. I'm like <laughs> I'll look at him And I like, like she'll see it and be like, God damn it, I'm like <laughs> Well, I better really scroll fast because if I don't it's going to come and she's going to be like, what are you looking at? And I'm going to be like, I already know. I'm going, damn it. Hey, hey, it's Red's see, fucking see. feed on my feed. I'm lonely. I can just take all the time I want to laugh at them. 
and then I spread the joy. It's not the laughable ones. It's the big titty girls with no clothes on (laughs) that she's like, God damn it. Remember the meme? Remember the meme where it's like, don't stick your dick in crazy, and that says, but mom, do you know how much hell this guy got for that meme? (laughs) Where she just had that perfect butt, and just the shape of her is like, Oh, and then mo- no, now? No, we didn't have... No, that's not the meme we fought about. Oh, oh. I threw a tantrum about the meme that was the fucking fountain. <laughs> I posted a fountain. Yep. Oh. Okay. I and it was, was like... Not, I'm a psycho. Let me make I don't this know. clear like, right now. The water was coming out of her vagina. And I don't remember what it said, but it was really comical. <laughs> like, funny as fuck. It and I, not. It, it was like something about when bitches are wet or something no, like that. No, it was something about you <laughs> making other bitches wet, and I was pissed. Yeah, something like that. And she was just fucking straight pissed. This was a couple of years ago. <laughs> and I was like, <clears throat> the fuck is your problem? It's funny. And she she doesn't have it. So I took it down because... And then we were fine. You know. Should have sent it to me. I would have put it right back up. <laughs> That's... Probably. Oh, other people did for sure. They did. I, 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 this was a while ago, though. Quite but but that ago. was different. It wasn't her man doing it. Exactly. So. Right. This is mine. I, I there can plenty, see your point. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but this is my fish. Don't but I can touch see my your point fish. too. Right. I just thought it was funny. I was like, I'm not getting other girls wet. Like, I'm not. Like, no. It's just like it's just well, a joke. Well, I don't know. Is. Every time I see you, I get a little tangly inside. But you want to die too? Because. <laughs> You have no fucking idea She's how like, much. I stab bitches. <laughs> Mustache rides. I will grab a brand new buck knife right now. Go ham. She's got a taser. I just learned what ham meant today. Oh my god. <laughs> how the fuck did you know what ham oh meant? Oh my god. I saw it on Facebook and I was like, is she just trying to fuck with these guys? No, so, I'm dead serious. I just thought that people really liked ham. Like, I'm dead uh, serious. I even use going ham. So as I a, think a, we like, can all agree now. Mal just gave ham. away her age. <laughs> I'm 31. <laughs> hey, fucker. I'm 31, too. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and like, I'm 30, so I mean... 27. Like, I'm not over the hill yet. Uh, oh, I'm not over I the hill yet that. either, Jake. That's <laughs> 40. That's no, 40. No, listen. We were watching this Facebook video, and this girl's 24 years old, and they, I can't even remember what they said. She goes, it's not like I'm 31 and ugly. I'm 24 and young and pretty, oh. and I'm like... Hey. And Mel was like, bitch, I'll slap you through this screen. <laughs> like... <laughs> you got- I was gonna... You got the young part right. The pretty needs a little bit of work. Listen, maybe not today. Like right now, I look pretty fucking homeless. Okay, but on most days. Well, yeah. I mean, you're but, comfortable. It, it's right. good. But when I get dressed up, I'd put her in the shame. It'd be awesome. And I'm way older than she is. Poo poo, I lose. Ha! I have so, no idea what's going on here. You don't green know. Hit it. It's ah. the green hit of the night. I snuck it in during the last conversation, and I feel we should, uh, before we go more off topic, talk about what the piece is so we can have everybody smoke with us. And it is the Machinist Special. All right, so what everyone's hitting right now is a little pipe I made on a lathe. It's a wonderful little hitter. I made out of stainless steel. Now, if you want to craft these yourself, it's pretty damn simple. <coughs> First thing you got to do is you got to make sure you get the right steel. Do not use anything like <coughs> copper or brass. It is very poisonous and you will die. Wait, really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like the old moonshiners, they used to do it through radiators and copper pipes and whatnot. And it would poison them. They'd go blind. they die. Copper and brass are very, very toxic. Do not use them. Learn new thing every day. All right. Aluminum. You learned two today. <laughs> aluminum uh, heats up very fast, so you want to use that one for like when you're only doing a couple hits, right. and then set it down, or you're gonna burn yourself. Right. I'm trying to ignore these jokers. <laughs> it was too good. Yeah, like I'm over here dying. I'm like, just keep going, machinists. Just keep going. I'm dying. No, no they're against and focus. I- I'm we're, good we're at just ignoring quiet, them. So I deal with red a lot, so I'm good at just ignoring problem children. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> As we just had the age conversation. Right, right, right. I thought we were more adult. Than- <laughs> 
I always say it when I have to be make you adult. I always say when I Finally. have to be an adult, it's the bad thing. <laughs> You're like y'all adult in our relationship, like ninety five percent. I know, and I you know what? Last I week. broke down. I did, and I broke down this past week. Oh, I can't believe I broke down. Well, Spent twelve hundred dollars on two new snakes. Okay, <laughs> when I said I wasn't getting no more fucking snakes, well, you were the adult man. in that situation. I know. Well, okay. Kill All right, guys. Yeah, let's get back so. to the machinist. So, the machinist. To, to make things Welcome simpler, right? I can bang out a pipe in about thirty minutes if I want to just make it down and dirty. You can smoke it and use it forever. Really simple. If you buy like a four hundred dollar lathe from Harbor Freight. <laughs> You can set it up on a table, get a stock of cold roll, stainless, something hard, something that'll last. You can turn it down to whatever size fits your mouth the best without getting too fancy. Uh, and then, real simple, just two drill bits. You take a smaller drill bit, no bigger than an eighth inch to give you the best smooth, clean hit like these guys are experiencing right now. Except for the first hit, because it's been sitting in my bathroom packed halfway. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Sorry about that. You got oh, bathroom weed. You hear that, Mal? We get no, bathroom weed. No, I cleaned it out. That's why I asked oh. for a toothpick. <laughs> you you got to take care of it like any other pipe, ladies and gentlemen. You got to take care of it like any other pipe, but it will last forever. Take care of it, he says. I mean... He's I talking keep... to a pair of people that never have cleaned their pipes, okay? We uh, don't. Yeah. It just um, ruins the flavor. You just show, uh, what is it, show two? I think I ripped into these guys about <laughs> For not, like three episodes, okay? <laughs> not cleaning their shit. Hey, guess what? That was three months ago we still ain't cleaning the motherfuckers. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> there was like a whole episode about me bitching about it, just being like, hey, clean your stuff, guys. Do it. As he's Do scraping it. my grinder, by the way. Yeah, I'm scraping the grinder during the whole episode. <laughs> like, just picking yeah, out bullshit. Right clean. Oh, don't, do it. don't no, do it. No, I don't just want don't to. Because do I know the last time I looked at the uh, friggin' Keith trap and I was like afraid for my life. I was like, how is this working? <laughs> how is this working? All right. So on the plus see, side, I've only got works. a little bit left to talk about. I could do more, but I want to keep it. This is Semi short. This is exactly what happens. <laughs> so every segment too. <laughs> <laughs> All night long. No bigger than an eighth inch drill bit, like I was saying. And then you want to use depending on how big you want to go up to a half <clears throat> inch or so bigger. You just want to make big enough that you can pack a bowl, right? Yeah. So you're gonna counter bore the hole you already drilled all the way through. Go quarter inch, deeper, depending on how much you want to be able to pack, one hitter, etc. Flip it around, finish turning the backside of it to get your mouthpiece, and you got a down and dirty pipe that'll last forever in a half hour plus. I mean, the reason that's my bathroom pipe is because I've <laughs> broken most of my pipes in my bathroom. <laughs> so that bouncing mm. off of my kitchen, or not my kitchen, my uh, bathroom, you know, my bathtub or my sink or any yeah. of that, I don't have to worry about a broken pipe because it just, I don't know if that picked up, but I just dropped the pipe. and Top grade American stainless steel. Yeah, you can I, run that bitch over with a car and smoke out of it right out. I'd rather not because <laughs> I just want to smoke. It'd probably be a little bent. It's a little bent. <laughs> a You'd little, be like, God damn no, it. No, not, not that shit. What, the, what I'm not telling you guys is the stainless steel I used on Red's pipe, uh, that's actually a top grade industrial aircraft military grade stainless steel. Yeah, it's a it fucking... is top of the line. You could hit oh. it with a goddamn so tank and is, it won't bend. This, this will last pipe. a nuclear war. Actually, this is the pipe the roaches are gonna be smoking when we all get nuked, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, for maintenance, when you first make it, you have to use oil when you're cutting as lubricant so you don't burn up your tools. You don't fuck with the heat intensity of your steel. You don't mess with your temperament, right? So what you want to do, as soon as you get it done, you drop it in hot water and bleach, let it soak a day or two, pull it out, wash it real good with on dish soap and hot water, and then you just want to run it for a while under normal cold running water to rinse all the soap out, and you will have a good clean hitting pipe. Do you have to dry it so that it doesn't rust? Uh, probably. Depending on if you use cold roll or stainless. 
If you use stainless or aluminum, it will never rust. If you use cold roll, you want to dry it and you want to keep it in a dry spot so you're not getting it rust. Okay. Okay. Now, with a cold roll, if it does start to rust, rust is really easy to clean off. You use sandpaper, etc., etc. Anything you'd use to smooth down and polish steel. And then just repeat the cleaning process so you're not breathing in that metal dust. The only thing I feel would be obnoxious with that is if it started rusting on the inside. And then you'd have to right. get like a toothpick with sandpaper around it and just... Fuck that's you know, that's why I said at the beginning, you want to pick what steel you use. Right, right. I would recommend stainless more often than not because, let's be honest, y'all are pot smokers. You're not going to hit it once, twice, and put it down. No! Uh, this whole entire segment, we've been hitting this and not putting it down. And it's very not that warm at all. It's pretty warm, but not like... I just burned the my bowl. The bowl is pretty warm all the way across. Yeah, don't touch the bowl. The first though. notch okay, on the bottom but... of it is where it makes it... Where it's like not too bad to grab a hold of. So that's where we're handing it off. It's almost like when you're two-thirds of the way down with a joint. It's about what it feels like. Yeah. Like, you just have a little tiny bit of space between <laughs> it because of how, like, it's it's rolled, like, just the way right. it is. And that's another benefit with uh, stainless steel as opposed to cold roll or aluminum. Stainless steel has really high temperature heat con- conductivity, so it can take a lot more heat before it starts getting hot. <laughs> I can't get it. It was so close. I'm like, you were. I, was I know. I'm like, don't burn the face. <laughs> don't burn the face. Don't burn the. Yeah, don't burn now, my hair off. The other downside is with this particular pipe, I unfortunately only had like an inch and a half piece of stainless I got to work with, so they ended up with a really short stem. Well, you only had like 15 modifiers for the piece of steel that you used to make this pipe. Like aircraft, fucking stainless, heat resistant. Right. You only had like a bunch of tags on it. <laughs> but I mean, I, I got this out of a scrap bin. It, right. it was going to be thrown away anyway, so I got to use it. If you're making your own, you're going to obviously buy your own material. I would suggest at least starting out with a four inch piece and you can end up with about a three, three and a half inch piece by the time you're all said and done. And that's going to give you more than a long enough stem to not what you just experienced on almost (laughs) right mustache. Right. Well that, and then of course with handing, I'm not worried about dropping it, but it's just a little bit of a pain in the ass with the size of the stem is all. This piece here is aluminum. Rhett's used it a couple times. It, the Reds used it a couple times, and uh, from what you've told me, it holds heat fairly well. It holds heat very well. Um, my only issue is it tastes like oil. Right, which <laughs> I just that's because clean Red it up. never did the steps I previously said to wash it out, clean it, and make sure it's good. Uh, you. Red. I also <laughs> never went to the metal shop or anything like that, so I don't know how to okay. cure metal. I told him how to clean it. He just yeah, didn't but he told do it. You. Damn it. Fucking air. I might have had earwax in my ear or something. Fucking Just Aries. saying. Excuses are like assholes. Everyone's got at least one. I mean, right now, I have one earbud in my ear while I'm doing this show. Maybe so. I can say it louder than Aries. Aries. <laughs> Being a fucking Aries. They do this every show. Fucking mama love. And the double Gemini is the most level-headed one. Explain that shit. Because you're not stoned. <laughs> I'm an Aries sc- Scorpio. I have zero chance of being level-headed. Zero. Okay. I'm Ask- saying, like, my patience level is so high. <laughs> Mine's not. Mine's iffy. Depends on if I'm working with idiots or not. Everyone I mean, like- tonight, you probably have a rough crowd. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry. But back to the pipe I made for yeah. Red, the other one, the aluminum one. The two-incher. About maybe about two, two and, and a half. half. Yeah, two and a half. It's aluminum, but as Red has already said, it doesn't conduct heat that badly. You can use it quite a bit. Question: Does that mean it gets really hot? Or is yes, it, yeah. yes, it does. Yes. Yes. I've yes. smoked out of aluminum foil. Aluminum. There's five words she can't say. Uh, what was the word we found out last week? Ambulance. 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 Yeah, no, I... And we're already swinging from the chandeliers. <laughs> in our Kansas. I mean... Swimming in the crick. I say crick, too, but it's just, you know, a, a, a PA thing. Like, 
<laughs> but it's not a PA thing. They can say That's all, folks. Ambulance has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Anyways, come on. But I was able to... out of aluminum foil. Pipe, and it got really hot. Yeah. Because like, really yeah, that's did. ass aluminum, and it's not like a piece of aluminum. Yeah. It's like paper well, thin. Well, that's what I'm asking. I wasn't sure how hot that would get compared This came to that. from an inch and a half round chunk of aluminum. And I turned it down into this. So, I like it. I never burn, you know. It's the really trick light. With that's alu- the only thing that's a little weird for me. The other trick with aluminum, like what I I made the uh, stainless one, I made the walls a lot thinner because I could get away with it. The aluminum walls, as you can see here, they're at least 50 thou thick. So it's going to take a lot more heat to warm it up, make it unbearable to use. Thicker. A lot yeah. thicker. Thicker means no burn fingers. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's kind of yeah. like it's kind of oh, like a so pop can is like there. super thin. Yeah. It's like twice as thick, maybe three times as thick as aluminum foil. This is probably like fifteen times as thick. <laughs> yeah. If not even thicker than that, maybe. Oh, okay. So it's like a nice chunk of aluminum. Yeah. Okay. Between you and the fire. And it's also you got like that inch and a half long stem, so you got a lot more travel space to. Not only hand it, but before it starts to burn your lips. Okay. So you can use it a lot more before you got to set it down and let it cool. Like with anything when it comes to metal and conducting heat, wherever it's at is directly really hot. But then it cools down fairly quickly as you go down it. Yes. So like the stem that he made on that, by the time it gets off that bowl and maybe this much of the stem, like maybe a quarter inch, you have another inch and a half-ish of safety. And not only that, yourself. by the time you're passing it off, the time it takes to go from your mouth to the next person, that stem's going to be cooled down, <laughs> so you can grab it on the stem. <laughs> and Jesus the God. children jokes continue. No. Where is Calypso? <laughs> Red is trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying she to tell her. Is where just, is can't Calypso? Do it. Yeah, she can't do it. She's stoned. So she's like, Mouth's oh, a little oh, slow oh, right now. It's okay. I don't know. here. I had no <laughs> I'm sitting here like Calypso. And she's going, I don't know. <laughs> and then she breaks out laughing. I'm like, oh, I'm a dumbass. I don't know. Where'd you put her? Uh, oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's what I need to know. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> is it under the bed? No. No, literally where your bum is. Oh, fuck. I don't. I, don't know. I thought I heard a tinkle. Don't even. <sighs> no okay? shit, yeah. Well, now we all know what Rhett does for fun, because he didn't feel that up his ass. <laughs> well, he well, has a know, couple of layers on it. Because, like, luckily we have the end of the pad over there. If it was catty, something would have broke <laughs> off my from under my fat ass. I'm Let's so be sorry. honest. but It's okay. Shit happens. Now, odd red. I've covered most of the important stuff. I feel if y'all want to make your own pipes, is there any other questions you might have that I could explain more in detail? No, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna make my own pipe. It's a bad idea. I yeah, she'll probably put a hole in her finger. Well, I'll make you go yeah. fund me, and you can go fund me the to get the little mini lathes from Harbor Freight, and I'll make them for you, Mal. <laughs> I'll make a GoFundMe, he says. (laughs) You could use that tattoo money and fund him. But... And then he can fund you back. You could sponsor each other. If I would have had more time and didn't have someone breathing down my neck, I could have used the mill, too, and I could have made some really sweet pipes. Like, bits that screwed together, and, like, you could screw it together and have, like, a Sherlock Holmes-style pipe. Right. And unscrew the bowl, and it would still be like a one-hitter on the inside. I could make some really intricate and cool things. It'd definitely be a cool investment for you, because that'd be a cool little side hobby to have. That you could make a little extra cash if you wanted. You know what Itching. I mean? Itching. I had to say it. That's why I was using my thumb. That's why I was using my thumb, so I'd be like... Um, well, first, I figured I thought, that's like you playing coy with us. No, I was itching my uh, I thumb. I just my gotta th- get the manual mill and lathe to be able to do it, the tools, the material, and I could bang some out no problem, maybe even give you guys a couple for, like, giveaways on the cast. That'd be cool. That would be cool. 
But we're looking like a year or so down the line before I had the space and the money to be able to afford it. Just give it to her. It's okay. I've beaten her twice. <laughs> I've already beaten her twice. The thing is, is she touched her nose before I t- touched mine, so I get first. Cheater! <laughs> but yeah. Look at my touch. <laughs> you touched your nose like five <laughs> times. She's like, this stuff just give it to me. I just want it. I was any like, questions I've already any twice. of you guys have, I'm more than willing to answer. If you guys listening, leave a comment and ask them. They'll get back to me, and I'll be able to answer any questions you might have. It might take us a couple weeks, but we'll answer them questions. <laughs> we're stoners. We get distracted. I'm so sorry. We like shiny objects, hence these pipes. Well, actually, we're all stoners with ADHD, so like... I to put that out there. I am not a stoner. I do not have ADHD. I just appreciate my friends who are. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. been a friend of mine for a really long time. I respect <laughs> the... Him not smoking, and I understand why with his career background and all that. I I still support my friends. Uh, when he was not going chasing that career, though, we did have our smoking. Well, it was a smoke or two here. And there. I had a rule: I'd do it at least once or twice a year with them. Yeah, so fair enough. Hence, remember when we first met, and I had that when I you went like smoking, smoking, and I was like. Yeah, you're smoking now. <laughs> nice. And then it was just like, okay, I was done with that for the year. If you didn't want to smoke again, whatever. But I try to smoke with all my friends at least once, unless I can't, like, they're out of state because I have a bunch well, of buddy, friends out of state. Well, buddy, I would say we're, like, a couple thousand years. times in. Yeah, you guys, you, guys are set. <laughs> you guys are set for, like, the year 3072. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> like three, <laughs> right? Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we uh, definitely smoke a good bit. Yeah, we do. I might not smoke, but I can't pass, guys. You're not stretching. Oh, you're we do it all forward. every day. Yeah, every week we're at. We the... do it all the time. So, I'm or I, I play, <laughs> or I play middleman, and then I'm a terrible. I get man. really fucked up because I did <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we funny. all do it. We all do. Yeah, we do. All three of us do it. I don't believe it. I've seen him smoke with other people before. Yeah, and before the podcast, I was here a time or two with yeah, you but guys. I think so. if he, when he does it to Blue, I'm th- pretty sure he does it on purpose. <laughs> I mean, delivery man's fee. Right, right. You got to get paid for that extra energy you're burning. Right? So, no, I try to be good about it. All right. So why don't we go from one segment? To another, because the green end of the night was a really long segment tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just like introing, introing the machinist right. and hearing the machinist. So, well, sorry, I am the machine. <laughs> I love the machine. Yeah. I do too. He's a uh, great comedian. Sure. <laughs> so tonight's strand of the night that we're going to talk about is runts. It's a, in my opinion, just from the looks of it, it's like a nice greenish with some orange hairs all over it. I just got the picture. It's a little bit more bushy, you know, in general. Uh, it's 19% THC. It says it's a hybrid, but they're not classifying any uh, CBD on it. So, Well, the hybrid would mean that it would be somewhat indica and then somewhat uh, sativa. Okay, okay. So, That's the hybrid. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very <clears throat> energizing, and it's a crossbreed of Skittles and Gelato, which are both sure, strands we've down. had on this show. I hear Gelato <clears throat> is ridiculously good. I it's haven't, really good. I haven't uh, <clears throat> had Gelato. DJ had it for us, but it was like two years ago, last time he had Gelato, so it was uh, really good. I gelato remember. so good. Yeah, you like gelato because you're fat <laughs> when the non stoner <laughs> when the non regular stoner goes yes gelato. gelato it sounds great you smoke with some that skittles shit. that sounds I like skittles I want to taste a rainbow and eat the gelato <laughs> well what you were just talking about sounded infected so <laughs> you know that's okay I was zoned out for a second I heard him describing something and I swear to God he was describing a really ugly vagina. Oh, like I, mean, I said, it's it sounded like, oh, good God. And then he started talking about CBD stuff, and I was like, oh, well, we're talking about weed. Okay. I saw the picture, and I we still are thought on it a weed podcast, infected. if you don't remember. No, but I was zoned out pretty Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> you guys say, because, like, I'm going to sit here and go, it leaves you feeling stoned. It's going to leave you with dry mouth because right, it's so, weed and all that. 
Because I'm a <laughs> nice smoker and have no goddamn clue. Okay. Your guys' opinion, what's the best shit you've ever hit? Ooh. Um, I gotta go with my uh, OG watermelon. And why? I kind of want to know the why, too. OG watermelon is something that has left me zombified <laughs> at, to a state where I could go to the dentist, like, not even caring. <laughs> and that's something Damn. I... Damn! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As this man knows about my teeth issues and how much I've struggled with them, and me, how much I bitch about going to the dentist, that alone <laughs> just tells him why. I need but that shit from my back. Yeah, it was something that I was just like, it brought me so stoned. I've never been that high in like my life, honestly. It just feels like I'm gone, and I just... Oh. All right, Mal, the pipe's farthest away from you, so your turn. Favorite hit and why? Does it have to be just straight weed? No, it. Wh- anything you've used, why? It was the first time I smoked weed, it was laced. Oh, uh, yeah. It was the greatest high I've ever had in my entire life, and when I discovered it was laced, that's exactly why. It was the greatest high ever, and I was like, yeah, no, we can't do that again. That's, that's a big no-no. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. All right, Odd. Um, for strain wise, my absolute favorite strain. Um, when we first got Jack here, that first week of Jack here, dude, like <clears throat> the first like two weeks before we start getting used to Jack here. Oh, good God. It's the first time. And this is the reason why, too. For anybody that has really, really bad ADHD and really, really bad, um, like a ton of, um, exactly. inner monologues. Okay. Like, anyone that has a ton of inner monologues, this is a great thing for you. Jack here stopped. I have four monologues of myself. <laughs> like, four different people of myself talking to me. And, like, yeah, they all shut up. And I'm like... It's quiet. <laughs> it was. It was. And even Mal was like, are you okay? I thought he was I'm mad like, at me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's like... I'm just so <laughs> she, relaxed right she's now. She's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like... I'm enjoying the quietness. And she's like, yeah, it's quiet out. I'm like, no, like... In here. <laughs> my head's not going 100 miles an hour right now. And she's like, oh. I'm like, that's never happened. Like, my mind is so stupid quick all the time. It's horrible. All right, so if you guys don't mind another question. Okay. Because I do like to learn, and this is a pop podcast. So why yeah. the hell not? It's content, right? Yeah, right. For it. What exactly is, like, the difference between the strands? Because I've heard thousands of different fucking strands, but the fuck's the difference? They this... all do a little something a little bit different, uh, and they all do give you a little bit of a different high. My and easiest there's... way to explain it to you, because you're somewhat of a car guy, is, like, think of a strand as, like, a different model of car. They all do the same purpose of getting you high. Some just do it differently. Some do it really fast. Some do it really so slow. It's... Some do it really hard. Some do it really soft. Some cradle you into it. Some fuck, fuck you Freaking. in the ass. So it's some kind of, them of like, like what we've done with farming, then, if I'm taking this creepers. right. Like, we've taken the desirable strands from, say, corn... And we've made sweet <coughs> corn, kernel corn, yep. popcorn. <coughs> we, you guys have just done that with pot. That's what people do. You, you yeah. started with the, the original stuff, and then you just bred it differently, differently, and got the strand you wanted for the high yeah. specific to what people so want. That's you why we know. have hybrids because there's indica and sativa plants being mixed, and there's <coughs> indica okay. plants where you'll be in- energized. There's the sativa, or you'll... Uh, no, you got them backwards. I get it backwards because I'm yeah. dyslexic as it's fuck okay. all the time. So I, I'm yeah, just, it's all good, man. So <coughs> sativa is like, like an upper. It's really good for playing video games. Mm-hmm. Anything that's a lot of stimulation. <coughs> if you're going to be doing homework for college. And you smoke it and you want something to help you with your work. I already went through that labor. shit too late. It's like, nice. Yeah, even like when you're doing something that's tedious, mm-hmm. um, it's like the best for just calming yourself right into what you're doing. Like you don't right. do it. <laughs> so like that's what I consider sativa's good for. Um okay. on the other end of it, indica, that's what I use, like that's why I smoke weed. Um <laughs> I have extreme insomnia. Inso- uh, and because I can't shut my brain off, 
and I asked him out when we first got together and I didn't smoke yet. <laughs> Literally, I will sleep three hours <laughs> every day and be completely fine. Honestly, fully functional. I'm, I'm on three hours. I'm on you. like four hours right now from last night. I get three to four and I'm up and hitting the bricks and I'm good to go all day long. Yep. I get less than eight and I'm an ass all day. It's an You're Aries. an ass anyway. <laughs> it's an Aries <laughs> thing. Phrase. I'm more of an ass all day. <laughs> If I you guys haven't picked day. up on it yet, I'm kind of an asshole. I like to joke <laughs> around a bit. See what I mean, guys? <laughs> it's he, all in fun. Up. No, listen, yeah, it's all in they fun. All, they harass the fuck out of me every show the entire time. Not oh, a chance. Yeah. See, love. I'm being nice Mama. now. I'm not just targeting you. I've hit odd a couple times. <laughs> I've hit red a couple I'm times. I can do shit out. I'm an equal opportunity asshole. <laughs> Everybody gets a piece. <laughs> You're like, I don't discriminate. I hate you all. Pretty Y'all much. want some ass? Come and get it. <laughs> Wide open, ass factory, all day, all night. He's like the open fucking whore. <laughs> yes! <laughs> give it to me! I'm gonna pay except to fuck you, and you're you gonna pay to fuck except me. you don't give it to me, I give it to you. It, mm. It's a catch-22, but it's a lot of fun either way. <laughs> but be careful, you might catch a venereal disease. Ew. Or six. <laughs> I'm up to 27! He has got her syphilis. <laughs> nice! Nice! Missing HIV, AIDS, and I think two more. <laughs> oh, you almost got the full. I've almost got the whole collection. No, ah, you have gonna herpa syphilis. Did you not hear the word AIDS? Yes, but you were wrong. <coughs> oh, oh. I might not always be right, but I am never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you know I'm stopping there. <laughs> and that's how you know she's a woman. <laughs> I'll finish it for you. I'll finish it for not you. Not my wife, not my fight. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get in a fight for that. Trust me. No. <laughs> I told my wife it was okay to buy a new animal, okay? That's a new thing, okay? So, she, okay. I'm okay. in the green for pretty much anything that's not insanely wild. <laughs> honestly, for like the next week and a half straight. And then after that, she'll cool back down and be back You get normal. a whole week and a half? Damn, you yeah. lucky bastard. He's riding this high real well because we've been getting a new animal almost every week. For like the last month. Almost like every week and a half we get a couple more and now we're done, done. Like we're done. No, we're not. Until, until Dumpy it's... Dumpy frogs. Oh my God. Woman. To feed the snakes? No. They're just dipshit frogs. They're adorable. Literally. They like have the derpiest little face ever. They're just all like... They literally look like this. Why don't you just get the finger monkey? At least that's adorable. We're going to. I know. Pigmy marmosets. We're going to. We just oh. have to wait until we have our building. Pigmy marmosets. They're adorable. They oh, are. Yeah. We'll have some. Don't I'm a you grown worry. ass man and I, th- I can read my you like it? Yes. Oh, okay. You're so sweet. I love you. You're fierce. You're going to hang out and with As you're cool. petting them with your monkeys. fucking toothbrush, and you're, you're like, fuck like, all these snakes and lizards and hang out with them all day. Must be so gentle. Do not break the little monkey. Mm-hmm. I will brush your hair all day long with my toothbrush. <laughs> It'll be like, like, oh my god, you have to name one Lorax so that you can brush its mustache with a toothbrush. Oh my god. <laughs> I am the Lorax, and I, I speak, speak for, for the, the trees. trees. And I'd like I to already have let some words, asshole chop them down as he pleased. Mm-hmm. Mine was way nicer. It was the Mine was more truthful. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how those two things don't always coincide, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, sometimes the truth is dirty. We're realists here, okay? <laughs> Just saying. <coughs> I'm dying. I get paid to make precise machines. I don't get paid to be nice. I get paid to draw things on people. I make sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, but they're delicious. What do you do, Rhett? I get rust in my eye. <laughs> get rust. I got in coconut my dust eye. in my eye today, <laughs> oh. and I'm allergic to coconut. I was oh. so paranoid about it all day. Good news. Apparently, the husk doesn't bother my bother me. I'm like, it's okay. So it's, it's just, just the, the milk. Meat, just the meat and the milk. All right. So because my eye didn't get all puffy, I didn't have a reaction to it. So nothing. that fine. coconut cake I was gonna make for you is out the picture now. Then right? Yeah. 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 You could have it. Oh. You, like, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. He was being a smart ass. You're like all serious. So it was oh, like, I didn't want you to say you couldn't have, you can have coconut just because I can't. I'll make you want to make him, he's just being a smart ass. You want to make him a coconut, pineapple, upside, down down a coconut pineapple upside down cake. A coconut pineapple. Because that will really be bad for Mel. That just sounds delicious, though. She's really allergic to pineapple and coconut. 
I, I ate teriyaki sauce one time, and I thought I was going to die. I do bake on occasion, Mal. I will not make something that you cannot eat and bring it here, you okay? You are bomb. His mom, as soon as she found out that I was allergic to coconut and pineapple, anything she makes with that particular thing in it, she makes a double batch and makes one without so I can eat it. She's a sweetheart. She's the best mom-in-law ever. At least I can see what gets his personality. Where What went wrong with you? My parents. <laughs> What I do now? <laughs> said the name. Mm. Oh, odd. <laughs> 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 All right, from Is now it? on, dipshit, dumbass, and fucked hard. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Why do I get fucked hard? <laughs> <laughs> because that's I just love that she's just offended by head. that. Because <laughs> you've been the Aries to him. I just, I just where my hands went. Everyone can be anything. It doesn't matter. I can be whatever I want. No. Damn. Within <laughs> reason. Okay. She'd be some fucking unicorn or something. I was just I would, say. I would And I'm not unicorn. about bestiality, so so no, no. No. Uh, no we should have spent a bit more time <laughs> before the stream. I mean, I know Red games. has talked we and Red have talked about um <laughs> fucking furries. Furries. <laughs> Like, I'm not into that shit. Not in the slightest. We I'm heard not it fucking together. a unicorn tonight. No, I'm not fucking a unicorn. I'm sorry. So sorry, you can't be a corn head. unicorn. I'm I know. Just kidding. Can we not? I'll suffocate in there. No, what you need to do idea. just the horn. Just the horn. I have a headband with a unicorn horn on it. And then get a tail. That's the I have babies. one too. It was for my Halloween costume. <laughs> We really should have went over before the stream the code names a little bit more. <laughs> I ain't used to this shit, damn it. I told you. You get used to it. Listen. It uh, took us a couple episodes. A couple. I still fucked up like six times last week. Oh, yeah. Last week was awful. Oh. Her end. You did it one time, and I did it one time, and she did like eight. Every I was like, other time. fuck, woman. It was ridiculous. I was just having such an off day with it. Like, yeah, I so, couldn't do it. Oh, you last week was so bad. I'd be good with We it. ripped Everyone some of those dabs butt. that Red has tonight, All right. last week, and they fuck you up. They're yeah. creepers. Yeah. So you don't even feel them. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, boom, and you're just like, <laughs> fuck. And That's then you're smoking like, weed half, with it. So I was just, rushing to get my segments done. I don't done have that excuse. So I could be done with my segments. Because <laughs> it was kicking. It was in the middle of my segment. I was like, oh... Fuck. I don't have that excuse. I'm just a hermit that's excited to talk <laughs> to my friends for a bit. <laughs> right? That's that's exactly why we want to do a podcast. We're Aside like, from my kid, yeah. I live alone. It's so quiet. I know the feeling, but I smoke weed. Okay, listen. My house is never quiet unless nobody's inside. Or they're all sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Even then, it's still not quiet. Yeah, I was going to say it's not one. quiet because the mice are all out and about usually. What mice? I had a, remember the mouse when I was here? It was always out and about. We had oh, a yeah. mouse. Well, guess what? We have an exterminator now. That's oh, not a problem. Nice. Kitty, kitty. Uh, no, no, an actual, no, actual exterminator. Uh, that cat. The cat's lazy. fat and lazy. She don't have nothing. <laughs> you kidding me? If it gets really close, then she might get it. Or if it's already in she'll, the trap, she'll, she'll take the trap and all. Swat a paw at it. Uh, it's too far. That's too much for Autumn. <laughs> yeah. She's poo poo kitty. She literally will take a mouse out of a trap. And then let it free. <laughs> no, legit, she's fucking worthless. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, let's be straight here. <laughs> no, in her defense, she can, like, hardly breathe because she's always covered <laughs> with crusties. I know, but it's because she's getting older. It, yeah. She's like I understand. 12. Like, I'm no, not... no, I've had her for 11 years, and we got her off the side of the road, skin and bones, as an adult cat. Like, I have no idea how old she is. Yeah, old cats sometimes are just gross. Yeah. Like, it's just nothing about oh, yeah. it. I got it. Right, they, they can be kind of grody sometimes. Right, right. Like, I had an old cat, and <clears throat> she had a giant uh, pus, like, tumor thing on her belly, and it was gross. And when it popped, it was, ugh, it's not all I wanted to think about it. I had a cat. He had uh, brain tumors, and they were coming out his ear. We got him removed twice, and then we finally had to put him down. They just yeah. kept coming back. Yeah. That's crazy. And by that point, their quality of life is just not... Yeah, yeah. We, we did the right thing. Yeah, you it, did. We had to. My cat lived a really long life, so it was, I loved her. It was... We got her... Uh, at a gas station, my mom was working at a gas station, and the cat was just thrown off of a truck, 
And it took a week for my mom to get the cat to come to her and brought her home. And we gave her a life for a good 20 years. Dude, if I bring home another cat, my husband's going to make me find a new home. Actually, I think I was 17. On that depressing note, hey, Odd, what would you use to perk up your mood? What strain would you use to just perk you up instantly? <laughs> Weed. Weed. I said strain. I want a specific. <laughs> Gorilla glue. I mean... We, Anything that's going to liven up the party. <laughs> gorilla glue, wedding cake, uh, fucking yeah. birthday cake. Pyromancer. Not Pyromancer, Pyromancer. Chocolope. Fuck yeah, that Chocolope was no, awesome. No, that Chocolope does that not liven up the party. That's how you take a coma. Slurricane. Slurricane. All right, Slurricane, that shit was track. good. This is what I like to see. <laughs> no, listen, we usually talk a whole lot of nonsense about a whole lot of stuff with a little bit of weed. Yeah. Well, no, that, that's uh, all good. I just wanted to get off the depressing shit. <laughs> that being said, well, I was queuing, trying to get Mal to do her fucking segment. But <laughs> she wasn't question. getting it because she's day. just derpy as fuck with her face. So she's like, huh? Yeah, she, I don't get what he's saying. She's not, huh? She doesn't understand our cues. Me and Odd, we got our cues. Me and Red will like look at each other, and he'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, sure, yeah, I'm yeah." I'm like, All right, let's me do down. it. And I'm like, "Bitch, you want to fight? What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> I just saw Odd <laughs> staring, and he was looking kind of like, "Help me!" So I tried to. Oh. help him. no, no, no! That's when he's like. Woman, come on. I like shoot this like bam like it's like whiplash on me and she's like, okay. Yeah, I got you. But she didn't get it because okay, so what's your dead shit question tonight? <laughs> we we supposed to be the stoner question tonight, but they're they're pretty derpy. Most of the time. Yeah. I will give her credit. Sometimes she says some good ones. This red will recognize this one. I know. Uh, this is what he's going to be bitching about. Yeah. Uh, I want to know what y'all think, okay? Y'all think Medusa got little snakes as her coochie hairs or not? Nah? <laughs> I don't think so. I think that, I, I, nah. Uh, see, Maybe that's the Greek where the snake mythology, tails are. Huh? Maybe that's it's where, where the, the snake, snake tails are. are. So they can tickle your dick. Tickle, tickle. What? <laughs> According to the mythology, though, Medusa had no coochie. She was just snake from, like, the upper half of her torso down. Yeah. Oh, so, so she had a cloaca. Yeah, she would have had a cloaca. So, no, she would not have had snake heads on her coochie. Well, high five for actually having a real answer. <laughs> Damn, and now I can't bitch about it because that was an actual answer for my mean Leave it question. to the non-stoner to have thought, reason, and actual knowledge of I the mythology. Was gonna, I was going to say that to you. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined the fun. No, you're good. You're good. You well, said it, so I didn't have to try to. With being big. Here's your prize. Odd, you win. <laughs> Fucking code me. <laughs> Son of a bitch, he says. God damn it. God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh, and there goes Red's voice. It's gone. I wondered when that was coming. <laughs> Gandhi. And squeak. <laughs> squeak. We all knew that was coming sooner or later. Right. The worst thing is, when I just said squeak right there, that was probably the realest my voice has <laughs> ever felt to me <laughs> since I got sick. <coughs> that was probably the realest my voice was when I said squeak. Yeah. yeah sure. One of y'all gotta like this bitch real good. Okay. Why? So that way I don't have to, because <laughs> this is fucking torturous. I'm like, I can't see past my big ass fucking finger. I'm sorry, I only had so much material to work with. No, you're fine. It's not your <laughs> my fault. My depth it's perception like, cool. is terrible, so I'm like, am I even close to it? It yeah, kind of is good. my fault. I am the one who made it. <laughs> I mean... It is indirectly well, your fault. Well, here's though. your rating. I give it 4.5 stars out of 5. It's too <laughs> fucking short! <laughs> Otherwise... Solid. Like solid pipe. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> What's nice about it is it looks like if you could like make a top for it, it looks like it would be like a little um piston sort of like hide. You say that with the machines, I could make a top for it. I could That's actually what I was saying. And... That's what I'm saying for like future references on your next design. Right. Oh yeah. And then it would look like a it looks kind of like a fucking um that piston. is lit. So, it does look like a piston to me. Kind of, yeah. I can see So, like, it. if you made a top for it, it would just look like a little piston for a, 
like a little uh, oh, keychain, yeah. and you could just have one packed, unscrew it, and wait, light I it up. I actually didn't have it, any plans when I made that one. I was just like, oh, what's a cool thing I could throw on it real quick? Yeah, it really, I really liked it because it looked like a fist, and I was like, if you threw it in a Lego, a Lego engine or something, it would fucking just... Lego my ego. <laughs> that one, though, actually did have a design. That's why the end's kind of rounded off, and it has that neat little design at the back of it. See, I thought that the look of that looks kind of like a socket. On the end of it, it looks kind of like a socket. I don't know if you did that on purpose or not. You're talking about, like, how it stepped? The bowl, yeah. Yes, the bowl I, looks kind of like a socket. I actually did do this intentionally. Because I wanted to give it that step down to... Just so you could kind of tell where, like, the bowl ends and the rest of the pipe begins. Right. I thought it'd just be a cool little idea. And then I did that design just to give it a little bit more depth to the look. Right. Now, another thing I could have done is uh, I could have put a threading tool, and I could have really lightly, and it would have ran a spiral along the bottom right up to here, and I could have backed it off. But I was also kind of pressed for time when I made it. Well, right. Isn't that where your teacher was like, finish it up? You, you yeah. get in trouble for making a pipe in school. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. So, you guys know what time it is? Is it time for the... I uh, didn't get to do version. my second question. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, there's another one. All right, what's the other one, then? Let's see if I can ruin the fun again. We've been waiting for it. I'm like... Everybody I, was talking. I thought maybe I was you were done. my turn. Wow. Wow. Damn it. Wow. Well, well, I get bitched mama. out if I don't, but then when I do, they're like, eh, fuck you. Yeah. All right, Mal, what's All the right. question? Sure, Mamala. <laughs> Is it better for someone to have a wide range of superficial knowledge or deep knowledge about a few things? Well, I mean, I kind of have both. I guess it's like, does it depend on, like, a life situation, or is it just, like, just overall? It's just a question. I didn't fucking design it. I don't know. I read you a question. Answer. Well, we're adding to it. So I guess in the thought process of, like, say you're an engineer, so you know everything there is to know about plastic. Like, how hard it has to be to be able to sustain this or that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, then I would say knowing everything there is to know about that, but not knowing dick about anything else, really, that would be important. Because that's the only way you could do your job. But otherwise, like, I know a shitload about a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, but it doesn't do me any good. I have a million fun facts for you, but that's about it. Right. Like, My wealth of knowledge is finally coming in handy. I know how to do, like, a lot of stupid things here and there, but, like, i never really been able to, if I, like, put my foot down on one of them, be able to, like, make something of it, you know? Uh. As far as I go, I know a lot of different things that would get me into careers. I know them very well. Like, my nickname, Machinist, I... I machine. I'm very good at machine. You fucking went to school and earned that fucking title. I earned that title. You fucking damn it. graduated. I'm like, but dude, you're fucking with high honors and a 3.9 GPA. Yeah, guy, yeah, damn it. like I have them here a doctorate ass. in that shit. <laughs> but I've also did a lot of plumbing and a lot of mechanics, and I know a lot of trades and I know them very well. But on the pl- uh, flip side of that, I like to learn things, so I know. A vague amount about a lot of subjects. Like, I could tell you how a swamp always shifts. A swamp is constantly shifting. You will never walk through the same swamp twice. That's why if you say, hide a body in there, you'll never find that body because that body's going to move all around that swamp. Mm-hmm. It's, it's cool knowledge. You can, motherfuckers! Mm-hmm. So, it, your question's kind of a catch-22. It all depends on the person, I would say. In, like, the instance, also, in my yeah. opinion. The person, the circumstance, it just depends. I mean, I think that knowing a lot about a lot of shit is really good, but at the same time... Uh, I was actually Especially just odd if you get on Jeopardy. size bowl that wasn't, like, huge. Insane. Yeah. If you get on Jeopardy, that's and when knowing a lot about I, a lot is going to be real damn handy. This. I think we're just going to smoke out of this. Right. So, <laughs> like, um... I have a couple of different trades that I can do, too, but, like, they're vastly different from yours. Like, I have a lot of customer service, not, like, right. done a lot of customer service. I do, I'm a manager, so, like, I could do a manager's position, 
And I can hop in literally anything to do with food. I have my uh, food safety certifications. Mm -hmm. I know crazy good how to cook, like that kind of stuff. And then I used to bartend. So, like, I could bartend. I could literally do the whole bar thing all by myself. Which, that's what need be. I'm kind of envious of you about. Because what most people don't know about me is I don't like dealing with people. I'm an asshole for a reason. (laughs) So, if I was to be put in a position where I had to deal with the general public, I lash out at stupidity. Right. (laughs) So, I would get fired very quickly. So, for that, I kind of envy you. I would like to be able to deal with people a bit better. I started when I was 11. (laughs) But on the flip side of that, I love what I do. I'm in a spot. I'm by myself. I do my own thing all day. And I can carry that over to my home life, too, which we were talking about earlier. I can make neat projects. I can make you guys pipes. I can... I made my mother a lighthouse, and I got some IT guys to help me out, and they actually made it so it'll pulse and glow and actually has the light in it. That's pretty cool. Really fucking cool. Yeah. So, it's pretty nifty. It is. Marco. <laughs> Polo. You just talk louder now. It was definitely no, it was, you know, you're, it was definitely. That's definitely first. I disagree, but that's okay. I, I say coin flip. I don't have Pets. a coin. I do. That's why I say coin okay. flip and I stand up. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Color in the air. Heads. Tails. <laughs> Bang. You lose either way, woman. Well, no, I got you. I got you. That's hilarious. Proof pudding. I do not cheat. I do not pick favorites. The universe is like motherfucker. <laughs> I said odd. We doing my section? Yeah. Is that what you're, you're thinking? A great transition. After oh. Time. Okay. I was just trying to do a uh, cue, but it came off more aggressive. I'm, I was like, oh, I, okay. I, sorry. I didn't mean to engage in conversation. Yeah. I meant to. I know. Right? Cue. We're like, what do you want? Because I was going to be like. It's time for Odds Urban Dictionary Word of the Day because we are going to do that segment, but we skipped over Mal's dipshit question of the two. Hey! <laughs> we didn't skip. You. We circled back to it. Yeah. We did circle yeah. back around, but we're doing a little bit of donuts right now. All right, so... Mm, donuts. All right, so for our Urban Dictionary Word of the Night, we have what is chuggy. Chuggy. What is a chuggy? Chuggy. Is that where you get like when you like oh. up chuck a little bit and it comes out in loogie form? No, and I you think spit it up. I think it's a loogie full of like chew, spit, and like gooby yucks. Ugh. Is it when you regurgitate pre chewed food? No, no, it's none of those things. <laughs> it right. sounds like it should be. Right? <laughs> a catch all word to describe anything that is basic, uncool, or untrendy. According to the New York Times, Chugi, pronounced chu uh, <laughs> can be used broadly to describe someone who is out of date or trying too hard, a.k.a. you're fucking lame, bud. Like, how hard is that? Like, just tell them they're fucking right. lame. lame. Like, does it really have to be Chugi? Well, or, you know, get with the times, whoever you <laughs> call <they're> fucking Chugi. <laughs> That's going to be the next week. <laughs> I love that word. I can't even be mad about it. As oh my people god! Don't she start misusing ratchet again? That pissed me off so damn bad, dude. Oh, I, I have mechanics blood in me. I will show you a fucking ratchet. I will hit you in the head with it, dude. My favorite thing is when my nine-year-old throws something and he goes yeet every time. <laughs> Can I tell you my favorite time I've ever heard the word ratchet be used as like a negative thing? Go ahead. Okay. So my ex-wife is a tattoo artist, just like my current wife. Okay. She's got a pipe. She she goes in. She she's working. <coughs> this teenage girl wanted a fox symbol, which <coughs> she had designed for a teenage boy, and she said, "No, I designed this for that kid. I'm not redoing it." Right. She said, "Well, what if you changed it a little bit and put a bunch of words with it or something?" She said, "All right. What are you thinking?" She wanted. Mind you, this is in Bradford, PA. So, this girl wanted Stank Booty B-Town Ratchet tattooed on her foot with the fox emblem. Okay. Okay. Poor life choices. So, Continue. right, <laughs> my ex-wife tried to persuade her for a whole, like, half hour to not do that. Uh-huh. Along with her boss, who owned the shop, and all the other three coworkers that worked with her. Okay. Nobody wanted her to get this. She charged the girl double for it. The girl still got it. 
Okay, being 17 years old. Don't hey. you need parental consent uh-huh. for that? Her mom signed it. All right. Her mom signed it? And she wasn't, she didn't care. She just said, whatever she wants to get, she can get it. Poor parenting, And signed it and then you... left. Like, this oh was like, God. all right, no biggie. Poor parenting at its finest, but continue. So this girl <clears throat> comes back to my wife like two weeks later and she's like, everyone's making fun of me for this fucking tattoo you gave me. She's like, you need to cover it. My ex-wife is a stellar tattoo artist, okay? All right. It's solid as fuck. It ain't yeah, yeah. coming out. Like, you ain't gonna cover that shit unless you're blacking it out. Yeah, like, that's how it is girl, with really good work. Not to mention, anything that's letters are very recognizable. So trying to cover letters is a big ass pain. Because they're really easy to pop out. All right. Yeah. So I don't have tattoos. So this I'm girl, word. right? This girl <laughs> was a huge bitch to my ex-wife, and she's like, "Sucks to suck. I guess she should be a shitty human." <laughs> that's about what she said to her. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't wrong, <laughs> but that's the best thing I've ever heard of for a negative way of using the word "ratchet" for something since you were mad about it. Wow. I just wanted to say my only good example of it. Stank booty, B town ratchet, and my ex wife's like, so you want everyone to know that you're a slut from Bradford. <laughs> so, I might be able to get a few more views. What's the name of this podcast again? This podcast is called the Ganja, Ganja People. <laughs> the Gan Ganja G A N J A Ganja Ganja Yeah G A N J A Peoples. Yep. <laughs> I hate people. Yeah. Why? Why? That's a steal for another podcast. Oh. Fair enough. Is that the Mad Podcast? The Mothers Against Drunk Drivers? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would not fit in in that podcast at all. Odd, what are you talking about? Uh. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, we were going to rip another dab. Fuck! It's not <laughs> too late! It's no, too it's loud. too late. Yeah, it's too loud. It's too loud. Can't do it. We have like it's why we're not 25 too minutes till we yeah, can. Yeah, it would be way too much noise. Uh, it's just like because the reason, torch. You can't. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. bombs yeah, you are obnoxious. Hear. We shouldn't smoke them. We did last week because I'm a bad person and, then and forgot. We, yeah, we did forget. We all did. And I, I kind of, I'm like, oh, we'll smoke another bong here soon on the show. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, I said that. So, guys, pretty much red lie to you. We will not be. Mm. It might be a while. It might take me a moment to bring it out, though. <laughs> and we forget again. <laughs> or we'll bring one of ours out and we'll be like, ah, fuck. Shit. Big Bertha. <laughs> oh, you know that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Oh, oh, the machinist hasn't seen it because he wasn't over when I had Big Bertha at my house. Big Bertha? You know how big my bong is at my house? Yeah. The big one? It's bigger than that. It's 17 inches tall. Mm. Now you guys just got me in the mood for a project. (laughs) He's like, I want to make one the size of a baseball bat. (laughs) I'm going to just make a I'm baseball I'm going to have to do it in stages. Like, this whole thing's going to thread together fucking Swiss Army <laughs> Knife style, but... Ooh, actually, I do got a project for you. Make a baseball bat into a bong. That was a good idea. I will oh not God. turn wood on a machine. It ruins no, them. No, 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 no. Metal, no, no, aluminum, no, 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 aluminum baseball bat. Aluminum! Aluminum! The hollow aluminum. inside, just have it all the way to cut the tip off. See, the other thing with that is, again, I would have to... Because they have the corks in them, I don't think there's enough material that I would be able to mm. cut it, thread it, and get it to sit right. Because I would have to drill pieces and machine pieces to fit inside so you didn't have a big-ass fucking hole you were trying to rip out of and sucking your entire... I mean, that's why what a not? bong is. Yeah, why not? <laughs> that's what a bong is, dude. It would work. It, it, It'd be like my beaker bong, you, but on steroids right. because it's coming back up into your... Mouth like a pit. If you Again, smoke from the handle. Not a smoker, but I do know the mechanics of how the bong works. You still have the tiny ass stem with the tiny ass hole in it, so you're not sucking your entire pack when you pull. Oh, that's easy. Just make a slider for I it. would have to make something like that to go with it. It, it you would could be a actually bit of a just process. cut the hole, 
You could cut the hole and just order a down stem in and use O-rings for a fitting and just slide it in. Like or you could just get one at Smoke Buddy. Smoke Buddy! Bang, I'm bang. just saying for me to make one from scratch, it would be a bit of a process. We're not sponsored. I know. We need to get some sponsors. <laughs> Fuck. One that, hey, can we get a paper towel sponsor? <laughs> yeah. She wants like, a paper towel sponsor, you know, <laughs> because between tattooing and fucking reptiles. I go through a retarded amount of paper towels. Well, if we're going wish list, I want a bacon sponsor. A bacon oh, sponsor. I'll, I'll second that. <laughs> We will really start our second channel. Hey, Sugardale, if you're bakers. listening, the machinist got your back. <laughs> we do not have time for a second channel. We're not doing that. No. Yeah, don't thick, even get that fucking idea. Thick in your head. cut hickory smoked goodness. Just hear the sizzle, man. Oh, good guy. Baby, can we get some bacon? Sometime? Oh, <laughs> good job, <laughs> asshole. Now you just cost twelve bucks. And th- I know for one pound of fucking bacon, probably too. <laughs> He'll get three pieces of. <laughs> Well, if I'm lucky. Are you kidding me? The fucking kids pound J- bacon. Just a second, just a second. I gotta remember to replace the crown upon my head. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you you got a whole pound of bacon at no, home because I am king asshole. All bow down. Uh, uh, <laughs> Berg. We broke our footin', okay? <laughs> it's ass. Yeah, so I have to shift it around. Be destroyed. It's, it's fucking gone. We need a new one. I know. Something Whoever good. wants to donate one to the show would be uh nah, just need a, a welder and a couple springs, you'll be all right. No. So whoever wants to donate a futon to the show, you'll get a shout out. I can jerry rig that bitch together. You'll get a <laughs> shout out, machinist. <laughs> bang bang. Bang bang. <laughs> uh so something we haven't mentioned tonight and me and Mal are super excited for. Ooh. We did say that we got two new snakes, but we didn't say anything about them, and it's awesome. Yeah, they've been dying to get out yeah, at Jen on them. They are gorgeous. I love them. They're so dope. They are. I, I don't need... even like snakes, but I will say they got some birdie colors. Yeah, I need see... to come when Red's not here so I can play with them. Yes. Oh yeah. Because I don't. I don't fuck with snakes. Like we weren't gonna get any more. Like I'm pretty sure the last podcast we were just saying that was it. We were done because we had three carpet pythons, which get very. Dark. I even said. For now, and then you guys are like, nah, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna yeah, be a while. I was like, like the yeah, next uh-huh, day. Uh huh. <laughs> Odd messages me with a picture of a ball python. He goes, I want this one so bad. And I'm like, so fucking get it. She's not gonna be an adult ever, you know? <laughs> so, like, she's like, do it. Pretty I'm sure like, I already oh. said age does not make adultness. And he's like, no, I have to be good. And like two hours later, he's like, so, um, I'd really like you to inquire about that. Python, because I know you have a Morph Market account. <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, by the way, I found a female for it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're getting two now. Which, coincidentally, I did not get that Duplication. one. Duplication. No, we messaged about one female, and then they never messaged us back. Never heard anything. So we yes. gave up on it and Boy. looked somewhere else. And uh, then we found Hello. <laughs> oh. Look at him camping over here really hard. Oh, great. It's almost dead. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it is. I picked out Poe. She's cute. Yeah, oh, I don't dude. know the name of this. It was Poe. That's Squidward. Squidward. Okay. I'm so Poe's the snake. yellow snake. Oh. But wait. Poe is the red tilt tubby. Hold, please. His snake, his name is Edgar. Okay, I thought you said Poe. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. You would My it. male name is Edgar, and the female's name is Poe. Okay, now when they have a baby, the baby's name is going to be Alan. Now I want you to put the oh, name together. Okay. Bang, bang. But you should have done a red snake named Poe. Because then it would have been a double. <laughs> it would have been a Teletubby, and it would have been Edgar Poe. I it never has watched nothing Teletubbies. to do with that stupid red strawberry TV thing that I, I, around. I, uh, Red strawberry thing that dances around. God, she sounds old. She sounds like an old person fucking describing <laughs> something. Who's stoned. I'm just thinking, mmm, red strawberries. <laughs> well, the color of strawberries are <laughs> instantly, <laughs> instantly, the machine just goes, hey, strawberries. Oh, strawberry shortcake sounds baller right now. Oh, dude, no. Your mom will make some this summer. I can't fucking wait. She just made some, like, 
Not that long ago. It's been forever. No, it's last couple. Been one week. Since you looked at me. <laughs> na, 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 I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stole the only last I knew. <laughs> he goes, I didn't know the next one, damn it. I don't know any of it. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, great song. Great song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bare Naked Ladies, one week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The people that did the... Mm, bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the guys naked that did um, the Big Bang Theory uh, theme song. Uh, I love the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> oh, God. There it is. Anyways, so mm, back Big to the Bang. new snakes. <laughs> Good God. Back to the Not new snakes. <laughs> Reach! Like, not even gonna play the game because you've lost so many times tonight. I know I've won three out of four. And I, I let just, her have the I was sitting there with. thinking like, who won the most? Oh, it was odd. It was odd. Is this my participation award? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I even got a starter award, and it was your win <laughs> that we gave to you. Yeah. It was a pity win. It, it was, was kind of a pity win. It's okay. I'll take it. I think I've won more than Mal this night, and I don't even smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Poe is an Enchi suit. Well, Go a pastel Enchi with a het clown. Whoop. So, a clown is one of Mal's favorite jeans. Clown? I will. I will yeah, it's uh, it's like oh, the sorry. what their pattern looks like is it's um a clown. Yeah, that's what the name is of it. They're really, really dark. Like they're super bright and super dark at the same time. I'm guessing they kind of like resemble. I'm guessing like clown like paint fish. face. Well, paint. Yeah. yeah. Like they have usually like big round things all over them. They have like they look. I, I like only ask because I don't fuck with snow ropes. So <laughs> he's like, Mm-mm. no, I know you don't. It's one of my favorite jeans that you can have in them. And so, you need... I, she's half of the combination, but I need to actually make one. So, we'll get there. Time to start breeding. Well, they're babies right now, but they'll get older. You <laughs> played Minecraft, you only need two, and you'll have a thousand in no time. No. <laughs> the boy plays Minecraft. Oh, good God. <clears throat> it's relaxing. And then Ugh. our yeah. male... Edgar. Sleepy. Edgar, <laughs> baby. Our male Edgar. I found him and I was like, I have to have him. Uh -huh. So he's a uh, pewter, which means that he's a cinnamon and pastel together. Makes like a gray, like a light gray color for the snake overall. Mm -hmm. And then he has a leopard gene, which means like that's his color, like uh, his design on the sides of him. So he's like the leopard print. Yeah, kinda. that's what his is kind of like what it would look like. Mm -hmm. And then he also has... Uh, Mojave in them, which would make if he the pastel and the Mojave got together, instead of being a pewter, he would be a. That was a fail. <laughs> Can we get an F in chat? Damn. <laughs> All right. Anyways, no kidding. Going back fifteen <laughs> seconds <laughs> with the Mojave and the pastel, then you get a Mystic, and that's also one of Mal's favorites. Okay. So he has the ability to breed out mystics, and she has the ability to breed in Enchi, which is another one of Mal's favorites. So between the two snakes, they have three of Mal's favorites, uh, three of Mal's favorite traits. So all depending on how the chromosomes fall, you could get a lot of different looking snakes in the breeds. I think that he does have the mystic in him because they're called, um, oh, they're not marks. Ah, oh, shit. What are they called? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> oh my god. We're asking the She's wrong gone. person. She's gone. My okay. Brain's farting right now. Um, no <laughs> anyways, sometimes reptiles will have a little piece of a gene in mm -hmm. their makeup somewhere. Just saying, hey, I have this gene, but I'm not showing it. It's like a piece right. of what it might have. Yeah. It's so on his head, his head is really purple. And that's what Mystic is. It's a purpley. It's like a really grayish purple. Okay. Really cool. Like, it mutes everything else. And his head is completely muted and it's purple. And the rest of them's the re like what you saw. Right. He has all kinds of pattern, but his head is just muted and purple. And I'm like, I'm hoping that's a mark to say, hey, man, I can make you a Mystic. I mean, with all 
do probability, there's a good shot. Or you we'd have to up, have a female that has the same genes. Right. That's the only thing. Or you could end thing. up with some kind of like hybrid that has a little <coughs> bit of a mix of both, and could turn into a really beautiful snake you didn't know you wanted until you got it. Well, we like he has like five genes in him. Right. And then she has three different genes in her. But I don't believe that she's actually a pastel. See, okay. it's, they said that she's pastel. I think it. they misidentified her. Because she's so yellow, like so dark yellow. Right. Pastel is not dark yellow. It's like, it, like pastel colors. It's bit. muted looking. Right. It's still really pretty, but it's muted, not super and she vibrant. And she's very ridiculously bright. vibrant. Yeah. Yeah. I think she she's more fluorescent than Pascal. Huh? She's more of a fluorescent than Pascal. Very fluorescent. I look at her and I think neon. She's oh. so pretty, and she wanted to crawl all over me today, and I was like, yes, you're so cool. <laughs> Ooh, I heard that. That felt good. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> My knee actually moves now, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's old, and you go snap, crack, and pop. My, it's it's horrible. As soon as I get up, like my whole everything just starts going fucking nuts. And you're not over the hill, you said. No, not no. even close. <laughs> uh, it was car surfing, jumping off of bridges, and you know, eight years of football. Yeah, that's no, what I, fucked my living life. Living the life. The, I living mean, the being dream. okay. I have a really bad adrenaline problem. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. We like, were having this talk on the way. To Erie, me and the machinist, we were going up. I do not. He's like, he has no desire for any adrenaline. And I'm like, I'm really bad. Because I tossed it that way, and then you're the. I was uh, taking it over. Uh, With red, when it comes to speed, he's an adrenaline okay. junkie. I just I, love adrenaline. Like, I, just I mean, love I can't the say anything because Mal has seen me going. From Warren back to home, like, at 100, I think it was. No, the truck topped out. I don't out know. At... I wasn't keeping up with you. I just watched you be like. The truck was topping out at 96 miles an hour, so. I was not keeping up. Like, obviously, I was not trying to play that game. I remember you were like, oh, I just saw Red. He's like, she's like, he's going down the four lanes. Like, <laughs> fucking gone. Like, <laughs> you I was like, oh, Okay. <laughs> Like, hauling dick. <laughs> She's like, he was fucking moving. As I'm someone like, right. who's rode with him, I have no problem believing it. He is scary. Okay, this guy I remember is my Ram. For sure. <laughs> and uh, he remembers the winter where I would just whip the back end of my fucking Ram sideways. Every single fucking turn in Cory. That death trap you called a fucking blazer that was horrifying <laughs> piece of shit that i'm so glad it's gone <laughs> which by the way i both my father and i did tell him not to buy it i wanted a car that was old as me and i shouldn't have a car that was old as me <laughs> all right so you can get away with it just get the right car we're getting, anyway we're getting pretty close down here day of the night yeah, what's your advice of the night? The fuck you looking at me for? I want to know what your advice of the night is. I've covered the past few advices of the night. It's the last one. You guys are going to be sadly mistaken. I think the last two. I have two, any actually. kind of advice yeah. for the night. Come on, let's hear something. Don't drink and drive. No. Mad over here. Mad mama is against drunk driving. <laughs> oh my god. See what I started? <laughs> I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how badly that back was just happened, please. God damn it. Well, I'm sorry, guys, but I don't think they're going to allow me to come back now. <laughs> no, it's you not good. You got to something else to bring out here again. <laughs> After tonight. Oh, and it's probably man. Mama's turn to get the present. <laughs> yeah, you got enough presents from me. <laughs> yeah. So, I had the thought process that if you're gonna get a a, a, a if you're gonna be responsible, 
You're going to get a new pet. <laughs> you should look up some information about them before you buy them. I'm just saying. Where's this coming from after buying six, seven <laughs> snakes? Uh, Excuse the, me, I no. did my research. It's five snakes <laughs> and a skink. <laughs> the skink, we had no fucking clue on anything about, okay? We just thought they were dope as fuck. And he needed help. And he was, yeah, he was malnourished. We're like, let's do it. He was really skinny. And <clears throat> so we get him home and we're like, oh, uh, well, what do we do? Like, what all do we need for him? So... We spent, like, we had somewhat of an idea, but, like, no. Like, we didn't know. <laughs> like, we had we, idea, were, but... we were, no. Uh, no. We just it had just a slight like idea. children to me. The, the extra technique steps. was there. The, execu- the execution left a lot to be desired. Well, okay, so we bought a cage and a bunch of stuff while we were there because it was at an expo. So we came home, set it up, and he at least had a cage with a habitat and some food and some water, Okay. Like, we were trying, and then after we got him set up in there, then I did some more research, and then we got him kind of fine-tuned, and now he's solid. Like, we didn't know he was from Indonesia, we thought he was from Australia. Um, <laughs> well, we were wrong. Know. P.S., he's a wild-caught little shit. <laughs> yeah, like... Who likes to shit on you? you know, I guess, like, uh, Mal was doing some research, I guess, the other day, and they said that right now, they're not getting specialty skinks. They're breeding yet. Hmm. So, this particular very, very, species. very few of them are actually not wild. So, most likely, Marbles is wild. Interesting. And, like, he's just chill as fuck. We've hmm. had him for a month. And literally, just chill as fuck. Just wants to hang out. me blueberries no, and dog No, seriously. I sit and rub my finger like this under his chin. And he's like, yes. You know what he did today when he got out? He spent a half an hour in my hood. <laughs> Literally, just sat there, just like watching, just enjoying, Hanging looking out around, my hood. being up high. He, they like being up high, right? So like he's just sitting up there, just like looking yep, around. I went and got chilling. his food with him, on, like in my hood, and he was just hanging out in my hood while I'm cleaning his food dish and getting him some fresh food and all that. We've only had him for like a month. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, he. You know what the ticket was? Blueberries. He just like hides all day long, and then like shortly before the kids time, (laughs) as soon as it's like maybe an hour before the kids go to bed, all of a sudden he like starts rising out of the fucking soil, (laughs) and I'm like, oh okay, it's blueberry time. (laughs) Yeah, he's like he just sits where he can see us, and he just watches, and he waits for mom to, and he's like, I know it's coming, (laughs) and as soon as the kids go to bed, he literally like walks out and is like. Hey, come get hi. me, mom. Hey, mom. Tree, mom. It's, blueberries. It's yeah. it's time to hang out. I want a blueberry. <laughs> mom. Like I won't I bite. Him too I won't even like hiss you. if you do it right. <laughs> mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, listen. Okay, so if I bring out the dish of blueberries and will, open them, he will literally all of a sudden he turns his head. And then he starts hauling dick for that dish. <laughs> like his little or, legs go pretty quick. Or if like I'm holding on to him and she opens the dish up to like be able to stick something in it, he instantly is like like whips his head and is like and he's got his tongue fucking just a going. And I'm like, Yeah, he food. smells that shit. I'm waiting for you guys to feed him so many blueberries instead of being a gray skinks, he's a blue skinks. <laughs> <laughs> He loves blueberries. Pigment no, alteration. He's only Just allowed from to have blueberries. Two. He's only allowed to have two out with us, okay? Because I mean, if it can to happen to flamingos, lot. why can't it happen to a lizard? But he loves them. I feed him to him off a baby spoon. <laughs> because then it can. Because he's not food. spoiled. I f- I feed him off by hand. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. It just makes a mess. It just he, he licks up the juice on the spoon too. If he when you when you catch it. The rules he's, are simple. You bite me, you die. Eat. <laughs> he's super chill, though. He really he only is. He bit me one time, and it was right after we got him. And it was my fault. I reached into his home, and, and it was dark in there, and we had just got him, not thinking about it. And he latched right onto the cuticle of my nail. I'm like, you little fucker! <laughs> then she, like, picked him straight up. She's like, come on, let go! I'm like, God like damn this. It. I'm like, let go! Mine, mine, no. Mine, no. It's no. my finger, mine. let go. He finally did, though. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't bit me since, so. He's no. not even thought about it ever since. Right? And the balls today literally just, like, took the bag they were in and slid it up, and they, like, slid onto my hand, and they're like, oh, hey, how's it going? I'm like, hey. 
Yeah. Like, they literally just, like, they bald pythons just don't give a fuck. They like really the don't. Stoners of the they really don't. The like, literally, like, brand new, never has met me, slids right onto my hand and just looks at me and is like, hey, <laughs> hey, you're not going to eat me, right? Cool. <laughs> and just, like, just sits there. Won't, don't move nope. barely at all. And then she, I get her in my hand and she's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> What's this over here? <laughs> and she just like, yeah, her tongue starts going crazy. She starts like looking around a little bit and moving around like maybe two or three inches around. And I'm just like keeping up with her a tiny bit. Just she's really slow. Because yeah, they move slow as fuck. But she was also cold when we got her. And when they're cold, it's not good for them. Mm-hmm. And they are really sluggish. It's like um, when somebody has diabetes, it has sugar problems. They're like kind of having problems. That's how snakes are. Right. Well, that's also most reptiles, though, yeah. especially reptiles that come from tropical climates. Yeah. If you don't keep them at a balmy 80 degrees, they're going to be... Yeah, we put them, because we didn't have their tanks 100% ready when they got here, so we took them and left them in their bags, and then put mm-hmm. them in a closed container with holes, and put them inside another snake cage. So like a goldfish. Yeah. yeah. But in a <laughs> snake cage. But that, that was the end of our pipe, so... well. Oh <laughs> Bang! What, a, what an end. Glad that's not my elbow. <laughs> Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube and whatever you're Download, on Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Wherever the hell you are. Uh, we don't Just know. because yeah. oh, as much as we could get out there, it's, the better it is for us, you know. And, I mean, obviously, it shows that you guys like it, and we appreciate seeing that you guys like it, so yes, we would just love smile. to... It really does. Yeah. Love to see I that love sub. Seeing everything. You know, we're going to get everything here rolling here soon. So, on that set, I also want to say that we have our episode comes out every Friday night. Usually, hopefully, we like to get out about 4.20, and depending on work schedules, it doesn't always work out that way. But we try. But... <clears throat> So you can hear the Ganja people every Friday night after 4.30-ish, somewhere in the afternoon, evening time. Yep. Every single week. All right. On that note, we're going to say we're out. So just remember, don't let your meatloaf. Keep it creative. Keep it dank, Ganja gang. Toodaloo, motherfuckers.